But wait, there's more. I knew I would forget something when I was going through my entire collection video I uploaded yesterday, and a couple people said it in the comments, and you know, I just knew there was something I'd forgotten. How could I have forgotten about something that I actually had tucked away in the corner of my room, which is why I forgot about it? And that is all of my trucks that I have mint in the box still. And this mint on card collection has definitely grown a lot too. So uh, here they all are, and I will show you each one individually. I keep them all in this box I found. The top part got beat up a little bit, but uh, other than that, all the trucks are still mint in the box themselves, so that's all that matters. So anyways, as you can see, I got a lot more trucks that I've kept packaged that uh probably going to keep that way because uh, of value and whatnot. So anyways, let's start it off with my mint on card Monster Jam collection. So here we go from 2010, the best series that Hot Wheels has ever made, the Flag Series. And this is the World Finals Black Stallion. As you can see, here it is. Mint in the box. Love this truck. I got this actually um, late 2019, I believe. And um, I was just going through a phase where I wanted to go back and get any Flag Series trucks that I passed up on that I really wanted to have in my collection. And this World Finals Black Stallion was one of them. So here it is. Next up, we got the updated Overkill Evolution with the World Finals decal on the tailgate. Um, there was two versions of Overkill Evolution that came out in 2018 when they released it. The regular Overkill Evolution that had the, uh, truck toys, um, as you can see it's right there, sponsor on the tailgate, and it didn't have those blue and purple flames going around the truck. Um, so they re-released an updated version of Overkill Evolution, which you can see is right here with the Freestyle Champion and the updated flame graphics, so... Decided to keep the updated one mint in the box since I have the 124 scale version of it too. And I opened that. This is the Extended Cab 2005 Sun Impact. I do have the Short Cab Sun Impact unboxed. So I figured since I have it, why uh, open up the other one? So this is the uh, Extended Cab. Now which one is more rare? The uh, Short Cab or the Extended Cab? Because like I said, I have both. But the Extended Cab is mint in the box. We got a Spin Master, and this is the World Finals 20 commemorative truck. Um, I did not get the World Finals 21 commemorative truck this year. I don't know if I will or not, but, um, <sighs> see, I don't know if you saw that there was, like, dust on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be open this. This is the first Spin Master commemorative uh, World Finals truck that they produced, and I think it's pretty cool to uh, have this um, in my collection with the gray wheels, the gold rims, the white BKT lettering on it. One of 5,000, like all of the uh, exclusive uh, commemorative trucks that Monster Jam has allowed Mattel and now Spin Master to make. So that's pretty cool. And then we got the two Holy Grails, I guess you could say, when it was uh, going back to Small Hub collecting Goldberg. Everybody had to have a Goldberg in their collection. If you don't have a Goldberg right now, I am so sorry. I mean... Hop on eBay, you got to spend a lot of money to get one. And I was lucky to get the short card one, and this is it right here. And, you know, once I got this Goldberg, I knew there was no way I was going to unbox this one. So, as you can see, it's still boxed. But also, I found this a couple of years later. I think I actually might have found this a year after I bought this one. I was at a uh, Thunder on a Niagara boat racing event, and they had little tents set up where people could go and buy, like, uh, clothes and whatnot, like a little fair, you know, shopping area. And this guy had a bunch of die cast Hot Wheels cars and stuff. And I saw a couple Monster Jam trucks. And um, he had this, of all things, he had a long card Goldberg. There was no way I was going to pass on this. And I think I got it for $9, something like that. But um, you, there's no way. If you found a long card Goldberg and someone was selling it for $9, no way was I going to pass on this. Um, other than the top part right there where you can see Goldberg, that's the only card damage. Other than that, this thing is as perfect as it can be. Alright, let's see if I can scoot over here. We have uh, a lot of 2018 trucks that I kept packaged. This is the Edge Glow, or the Night Glow. Sorry, I kept saying Edge Glow because that's what they changed it up. Night Glow Cage, Batman, which means obviously it glows in the dark. So there's that. And then Shockwave. I don't know, a lot of people don't know I have the Shockwave, but... I do, and this is one of the biggest 2005 trucks I never got to pick up when I was little. Fat guys rule. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
I decided, you know, there's this this exact shockwave. I don't know if anybody's seen it on eBay, but for years it's been sitting on eBay for like $13. And eventually, yes, this is the one. I eventually bought it because I kept looking at it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have it. It's only $13. Nobody's buying it. So I'm just going to take it. And it's in pretty great condition for the card. I mean, again, you can see a little bit um, up on the top part there. But other than that, mint in the box. That's what matters. And there's shockwave best thing is these trucks never made their debut in sign-up series except for this one halloween zombie this has actually been opened i just taped it back up i don't know if you can see it it's going to be kind of tough to see because of the lighting in my camera but eh, you can see a little bit there scotch tape i used i put this back in the box um to resell it and scam people no i'm kidding but um yeah since i had the box and i you know, I thought, it's a pretty special truck. I don't really want to keep using it. But um, it does glow in the dark, too. The yellow eyes and the nose and the mouth glows in the dark. I don't know if anybody knew that or not about the Halloween zombie. But, um, yeah, I can open this up if I really wanted to. But for now, I'm keeping it packaged. That's that. And you want to talk about something that should never be opened? Here's another one. This is a Hot Wheels World Finals 17 commemorative truck from 2016. This was my first World Finals truck. I have the World Finals 18 one, which I have unboxed and I've been using in the sign-up series. And I decided I'd get this one. So there's that. 2016, you can see it's got like the uh, 3D graphics, kind of. So that means if you touch it, you can feel like um, the graphics themselves, like a blackout truck. Really, really cool. I love this World Finals commemorative truck. And if I were to have one other world finals commemorative truck out of this pack that i don't have it definitely be that one with the clear wheels that is like one of the coolest world finals trucks out there and then of course that one's like a thousand dollars the original world finals 10 so that's that and you want to talk about money the first halloween truck that ever came out was this grave digger and i have seen this thing go for up to 250 dollars mint in the box and sure enough here it is a lot of special edition Gravedigger releases are worth a lot of money, whether it's the Halloween, the Gold, the Silver Series, any special released version of Gravedigger is crazy expensive. And here it is. Comes with the little figure with the pumpkin face. Unbelievable truck. I love its design. If you don't have this truck, then... Yeah, like I said, there's no way you're going to be finding this anytime soon. But it's, instead of tombstones, it's a pumpkin patch with the pumpkins uh, and the drivers and the truck's names carved into them. The uh, mountain where the ghost would be has the pumpkin face on it like the figure. Orange rims with the purple beadlocks. Purple flames, I know you can't really see it instead of uh, green flames. The pumpkin with the Gravedigger logo on it. Just such an amazing Halloween truck. I mean... One of the absolute coolest grave diggers ever. We got a bunch of Halloween trucks from Mattel, and I don't know. Oh well, we did just get the uh, Pirates Curse one from uh, Spin Master, so I'm looking forward to see what else Halloween themed trucks will be coming out. Maybe because Halloween is what two months away now, since it's August second. So yeah, here is the Halloween El Toro Loco. A lot of people called it the Bulldozer Fusion uh, because it's got the uh, tannish yellowish. Uh, color of bulldozer to it they colored the horns in it's a skeleton it looks insane one of five thousand of course the halloween el toro loco awesome well wait we got another one i think this was the final halloween hot wheels truck that came out and was the monster M mummy really really cool truck uh beware of dog oh i thought it said dead i should say beware of money somewhere it says that there it is amazing card art by the way and then you can read that if you want but monster mutt mummy how sweet i haven't seen a lot of people with that truck either so that's actually kind of a forgotten truck here's a uh, man of steel from 2014 number 81 remember when the hot wheels list came out and it said there was only supposed to be 80 trucks and then this one hit ebay and everybody was like oh hmm someone's making custom man of steels and then someone found it at a store and we're like, oh no, it's real. It's number 81. And everyone was freaking out like, oh, wait a minute. Mattel's re-releasing more trucks? How about Cyborg, the original Cyborg? Now, they made the 2003 version of this truck with the small hubs. And then this is the 2004 one, number 12. As you can see, the big hub, green Cyborg. Oh my God, this is hands down one of, if not the top 10 Hot Wheels monster trucks of all time. Design-wise, so sweet. 
And unfortunately, not all of the 2004 trucks that came out were big hub. Uh, some of them stayed in small hub form, like Little Miss Dangerous was never a big hub. Um, that SUV Eradicator, I wish that was a big hub. That would have been awesome. Ninja Blade too, uh, but I think everything else expelled wasn't. But yeah, every other truck on here had a big hub release. Pretty cool though, I love that Cyborg. Spectre Flames Cowboy, Flag Series 2010. The black Spectre Flame trucks are pretty special to me. I just love the design how they are because it's like a metal gray. Uh, just really cool though. And I didn't know that they made a plastic based cowboy because I have the metal based one. They do have a regular plastic based cowboy from 2009, but uh, this was Cowboy's last release as a uh, Hot Wheels monster truck was the 2010 version of Spectre Flame. So it's only special release was that. Another special Gravedigger release, the Golden Machines. I don't have all three of them. I'm missing the Mohawk Warrior, but the Golden Machines Gravedigger. Hmm. I found actually two of them, one at Toys R Us before they shut down. Here's the Holiday Edition Michigan Ice Monster. Uh, originally, I was going to return this truck, but I figured, you know what? I don't have a Holiday Edition truck mint in the box, so I figured I'd keep it. So I think it was a good idea to do it because I do have Blue Thunder and Grave Digger, but I don't have the Holiday Crustacean, Rottweiler, or Mohawk Warrior. A lot of trucks that I uh, passed on for some unknown reason. Here's Nightmare Express. Pretty sweet truck. I have a Rev Treads version of this truck, but I can't find like half of my Rev Treads. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, here's the Nightmare from 05. And also, when I bought that Nightmare, I got it for I think 12 or $14. This came with it, Rambo. Love Rambo. It's got the American flag on the hood, black truck with the red, white, and blue Rambo, number 44 from 2005. Awesome, awesome truck. Gas Monkey Garage from 17 with the flag. I don't know why, but uh, I just thought having a mint Gas Monkey Garage because of all the hype when it, uh, we first found out it was coming out, I had to have one mint in the box. One of my very first trucks I kept mint in the box was the O. 6 Avenger. Yep, this is the 06 one. Number 10. You've all seen that a thousand times. Here's the Hot Wheels. I have a unboxed version of this one as well because uh, you've just seen it in my sign-up series. The special... I forgot if this was the... Um, what year was this? The 50th anniversary edition of Hot Wheels or something? I'm not too sure. It's gotta be. But um, there's that. and Here's the back of it. Pretty cool. And then, of course, the... Uh, car version of it that was debuted at the world finals really really awesome oh there you go 50th anniversary i was right <laughs> yeah so there you go the car hot wheels it says hot wheels in the grill but you need the 124 scale version to read it and you can kind of see the little black dots because the camera won't focus but that says hot wheels in it and really really awesome this is the chroma frost zombie hunter yeah, the Chroma Frost trucks. Who remembers these? Because I didn't. Uh, uh, they had like a matte paint feel to them. I have it's the Dragon unboxed and the Crustacean unboxed, but I never opened the Zombie Hunter, which obviously you can see here. And it had the ZX1 K13 decal on it. Uh, other than that, same truck that's always been released. Clear Crushers, number two out of four. Bad news travels fast with the green clear wheels. I wish they made more Clear Crusher trucks, and they didn't wait till the final year of uh, making the Hot Wheels trucks before uh, they ended them. But uh, Bad News Travels Fast, the green clean body with the green clear wheels. I say green, green clear because the first version of Bad News Travels Fast, the green body came out, was a mud trucks. They did the same thing with, um, what you call it, Mad Scientist. Here's Doomsday, Night Glow Cage, Glows in the Dark. Fitting, I guess. I mean... I wish they would have done a night glow cage with um, Alien Invasion. That would have been sweet. Here's the Mud Trucks Nitro Hornet. I never thought that they would re-release Nitro Hornet after it came out in 2013. But they did, and they made it a mud version. They never made its actual body, though. Maybe that's something the Spin Master could do in the future. But uh, they made this custom Nitro Hornet. And for years, I thought that this was just like a prototype for the future body of its actual design. And no, they never made an actual Hornet body for the Nitro Hornet truck. But maybe the uh, Spin Master can make the actual... I think it's red now. Red or blue. 
I forgot which one it is. Cyborg Shark. One of the last Hot Wheels Monster Jam originals ever made. I think this was actually the final Monster Jam original that they made, was Cyborg Shark. After becoming Great Bite to Shark Reek to uh, Shark Shock to Cyborg Shark. A lot of shark variations. Remember when this truck came out? And it was loose on eBay, and almost like everybody freaked out, thinking, oh, we're never going to get this. This is the next Exterminator. This is the next um, Backdraft from 2015 or whenever it was supposed to come out. And sure enough, it was in the final case, and everyone was like, oh, okay. So we are getting the X-Ray Virginia Giant. We don't need to freak out about it because, yeah, it didn't come out on time. It got uh, delayed for some unknown reason. See, here's the case it was supposed to come out. Every truck in this case came out except for the X-Ray Virginia Giant, which everybody thought, oh, it's never coming out now. It's a canceled truck. I don't know why it was delayed, but here it is. And I got it, of course. Another X-Ray truck that's a lot of money is the X-Ray Superman. Here it is, as you can see. Love it. My other gold truck is the gold Hot Wheels 50th anniversary. Like I said, I don't have the Mohawk Warrior, but uh, I do have the Hot Wheels. Here's the classic Wrecking Crew. It says new look, but this is its old design when it had the yellow lettering. Um, kind of like a mix of its modern look. The current Wrecking Crew and the old Wrecking Crew with the Detroit logo up there and the yellow re uh, lettering. This is like a weird past and present truck that they made, so... There's that. Here's another Clear Crushers truck. This is the Target exclusive um, Ice Cream Man with the red clear wheels. That's the Target exclusive case. And yeah, really the only truck in the case that everybody was trying to get was that truck, the Ice Cream Man. Here is the very first ever case of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks that were ever released after Monster Jam, the originals. I don't have Stars and Stripes, and that Stars and Stripes is the only truck in this case that has not been re-released. Uh, it's 2020 now, and these came out, what, late 2018, early 2019. Every other truck on this case has been re-released in some form. Stars and Stripes hasn't, so that's got to be like one of the most rarest Hot Wheels monster trucks out there. So here's Skeleton Crew, I've never opened it. Here's the Night Glow Cage Gravedigger, I have all three as you've seen, Gravedigger, Batman and Doomsday, all three of them there. Bone Busters, Dragon, I never opened this one. And I only have Monster Mutt and Dragon. I never got Zombie Predator or Shark Reek, so... Interesting. Mud Truck's Jurassic Attack. They didn't do a green one, they brought back the blue one. I wish it was a Mud Truck's green one. Error Raisin Cane with the Superman card. Can't get any better than that. Oh wait, I got another error. Gravedigger with a Zombie Hunter card. I remember I was at Target when I found this, and I saw a Zombie Hunter, and then I saw the green, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, what was that? And sure enough, it was an error Gravedigger with a Zombie Hunter, so pretty cool. First ever Color Treads truck to ever come out was the blue Color Treads Son of a Digger, and I decided to get another one, of course. And finally, the re-release of the World Finals Blue Avenger. Of all the things they could have done, this could have been the yellow one, they brought back the blue one. I don't know why, but here it is. Um, minus the windshield decals like the 2010 Flag Series 1 came with. And I think the blue is a little bit darker on the front. I could be wrong. But other than that, and the new Monster Jam logo, it's the same truck. So that's all my box trucks. And then here's Steel Striker and Nitro. My only two Rev Treads trucks. I don't know what happened to my other ones, but someone mentioned, what about the Rev Treads? Yes, I do have them. Here they are the only two I have right now. But other than that, those are my boxed trucks, and pretty sweet. If I were to get any more classic Monster Jam trucks from, like, 2010, 2000, anything between that range, I'm going to keep them boxed, just because. So anyways, that's that, guys. Now that's all of my Hot Wheels Monster Jam, Spin Masters, whatever you want to call it, collection. It is done. Till next time, guys.